Hello you, it's my yard here, Dr. Yard, and I'm going to show you the final aspect of what pack opening is all about. In the previous video, if you've not already seen it, I would check it out right now. It explains how fast I was. I was pretty damn quick at opening, ding, 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 nine packs of the war, fighting machines of war. Ooh, shucky ducky crack crack. And they were the Imperial Dalek frames and the Cyber King frames. Five of each in each pack. $50, $40 if you're a Founders Token member. And we were able to open nine packs from selling stuff on the Marketplace. Stuff we'll talk about in future videos as well, what the Marketplace is about and everything. This is all about the packs. If you haven't played this game before, because the game's not out yet technically, of course, it is all about collection at the minute, like a collectible card game, but it will be a trading card game. Link is in the description with a full link for me. If you ever decide to buy packs from it, I will get a 10% cut. That also implies that you will also get a referral link that you can send to your friends and they can give you a cut, etc, etc. Usual referral link terms and conditions, etc. Full transparency, you understand, my dear fellows? So, nine packs. Imperial Dalek will go through first, or do we do Cyber King? The Imperial Dalek is the better looking ones, isn't it? We'll, we'll go with that, we'll go with that. Um, there was 45 uh, cards available, because I had 40, um, uh, 45 cards available. There is 40 here, which means I have a few duplicates. Um, I did buy a couple of cards on the marketplace, four cards on the marketplace as well, very soon after, because they were really good fights. And I'll explain which ones they were as we go through them as well. Uh, we'll just stop, tarts, yeah, stop. We will start from top to the bottom, left to right. Since Tower and Soldier, the first card on the block, it ain't Serial 1. It's a Serial 2. It's, pre it's a pretty good start, I would say, in my opinion. We'll get the counter for Serial 1, Serial 2s, and 3 and on. The moment. It was a moment. It's a Serial 1. It's a legendary. It is the Time War Imperial Dalek frame. Mwah. Beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Downside is the optimization of the. It's getting better, actually. Romana. She's a serial number three. I would have preferred a serial number four if I couldn't get her in number one. She was pulled out fairly late as well on that. I got lucky that I was able to post. Um, get the packs out very quickly. Uh, if, if it wasn't for that, we would struggle. Rivers number two. Uh, oh, someone's got one up. Number six at $95. Oh, I hope my number two's worth more than that soon. Uh, people will put their rares, their epics, their legendaries, and even their commons on the marketplace fairly quickly to, to do a quick flip. And it's always been evident on some serial ones. Far below what they realistically should be. The prices they were selling for were pretty much what the going rate would be normally. It was an absolute bargain. It's just a shame I didn't have any money to get some of those ones. River Doer number two is a good point. That upgrades our count to one and a three. Fake news. It's all about the fake news. It's a serial four. But it costs four to play, so maybe it'll be worth money. You never know. Uh, <laughs> as we're posting it, the supply is still going up and up and up because there is a backlog of emails. Because I was very quick on the ball, uh, all my cards have now been um, shown as what serials. Cyber Guard, Serial 1 and Serial 6. So a double duplicate, but we get a Serial 1 out of it. Shame, it's Cyber Guard in Imperial Dalek and not a Dalek or a Cyber King frame. You know? Hey ho, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, Tim Shaw, Tim, is a 2. For sale, is a number 10. Is a common, it, even a 10 common at 50 is probably not is too much at the minute. You're probably going to see that go down to maybe five quid. Uh, these packs are more expensive than the Time Lord President packs, so commons should be at least two to three times more expensive than the Time Lord Presidents on average, in my head anyway. But not financial advice. Serial 4 for unit, which, I mean, it's not the same unit headquarters we think, but unit is more associated with anywhere from the second, third, fourth doctor, etc. Uh, four stuff. Okay for common as well. Strax, you're number two. Yes, Suntawan. Shame. That's a shame. But we are coming up to a Dalek. It's Dalek Tay. And it's number... Loading. Loading. Number three. Yeah. Someone's got one for... Oh. 
If someone actually legitimately put one up at eight dollars, I would have nabbed the hell out of that one. It might have already been the case. There's ones at ninety-five, seven, and eight. It's probably again too high for those low cereals at the minute. One day, one day, I think it's just a bit too high at the minute. But it is an Imperial Dalek frame. That's the key. So they're gonna get a premium Dalek and a Dalek frame. No one's got Dalek Khan listed and number two for that one. Again, number two serial epic card and it's a Dalek should hold good value. Not something I want to get rid of unless someone offers me a decent chunk of change on it. Right, what else have we got as the website decides to have a little maybe a valve function? Maybe I should go into the uh, Cyber Kings if we're not too long. No, we're good. Okay. Flamethrower, come on, it's a flamethrower, it's Ice Warrior, or even Cyberman actually. And it's number two, it's not Ice Warrior, that's clearly a wooden Cyberman that was doing that. Serial number two, again common, we've been made more sense for Cyber King, again because it's, it's technically an uh, image of a Cyberman, but that still number two is pretty, pretty damn good. Wilfred Mott, hello Wilfred, Bernard Cribbins. What number are you, sir? Wilfred, you're number one. Well done, you. And I actually think this is a hugely playable card in the game as well. Whenever you play a non-human draw card, drawing cards in any card game, and it costs three, in the game you start with five of the Artron energy, that's... Th 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 granted, he's a zero-one, but if your opponent can't destroy him very quickly, you're going to get a quick draw sk scheme out of that. Sudex could very well behave really well on that. Uh, Wounded Cry uh, Crafas, yeah, that thing, uh, Serial 3, it's wounded, it looks like a dinosaur, but it's not a dinosaur, blah blah blah. Transistor Radio, it is 7, yes, and yet someone's got Serial 1 listed at 299 for a common. I'm not going to get 299, not even close, but 7 is it's not terrible. Martian Sleeping Fever, number 1. Number, number, number one, number one. Yeah, that's actually pretty, in, with the artwork, even though it's Ice Warrior, it looks pretty damn good. I, the fact is, unless you know you're facing against an Ice Warrior deck, the card itself, meh. Uh, Greater Pyro Vial, number three. Sable Human that costs five or less? Uh, maybe. Expert Dinosaur t Tamer, a serial three, a six, and a nine. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, we could go all the way here, there's a 14 at $20. I mean, if it, I, I, I say, I think to, to start off with, as more and more cards get put on commons, I'm probably going to go for 10 to, ten bucks, maybe. It, it's it's kind of hard to judge, the, the, the $50 packs, there's 10 cards in each pack, so realistically, even if the commons were, say, on average $5, I think $5 is probably actually better suited at the minute, if that. Um, there's going to be some cards that people don't want. Mind Control Spectacles. $8 for Serial 8. Rare. Serial 1 up for $599. Um, may go eventually. You never know. $100 on the Serial 3. Probably too much, but it's a rare. $8 on... Uh, granted, it's 23 but uh, I mean, $8 on, on a rare. That's not, that's not a bad price for what it is. Cybermite, it's an Imperial Dalek, but it's number three. Steal one from your opponent until next time. Very human as Cyber Warrior. You never know. Changing people into something. Mm -hmm. Next is on to page two. That's the first 20 unique frames. We've got another 20 to go. We've got most of our legendaries in the Cyber King packs, in fact. Talking of which, Cyber King, we know this is number one. But we also pulled number three. Uh, so, it's good, good. We're the only one listing at the minute. I've listed it at $500. If someone actually pays $500, it's a rare. It's the opponent of the Daleks, as it were, if you were to go in the David Tennant days. And some pays that. That covers, I paid $360 for the packs. That gives me an instant profit just by selling that one card. So. One day, maybe someone will buy it at that price. Maybe I'll up the price. Maybe I will just hold on to it. Who knows? Who knows? Serial free for Bill Potts. We know that. Uh, that's got someone's got a stupid price for a serial four on that one. 
Uh, serial one, three hundred dollars for Never Spear. Erase a human from your past and summon a Cyber Warrior. Okay, so basically, great if it's in the figurative graveyard, you can basically completely remove it from play and then get a creature for it, and it costs nothing for that turn. Not atrocious if you're not bringing back those characters. Dauntless Prison, number two. Yeah, that's all right. It's okay, it's a, it's a prison. Machine that goes ding, we got two of them, and it's number two and number three. Mm. None for sale at the minute. I wish it was number one, because it costs one to play. Revert the Saigon back to its normal form. Unless you're using that in Saigon deck, you're not going to be facing against it. Unit Physician. When played, cleanse a human, serial six, and heal humans for two. Yes, I mean, that can work. Eighth Doctor, number two. We were so close. Number nine, number 16. That's way too high prices at the minute for realistic purposes, I would say, in my honest opinion. Uh, Curious Paleontologist next is number four and seven. Um, not bad. Um, the serial numbers are going hugely high. I will show you uh, some of the time will President Packs, if I remember at the end of the video. Silent Passenger. Oh, we're coming to Time War. Oh, beautiful. Daleks. Old Daleks. But we're not there yet. Silent Passenger. What number are you, sir? Silent Passenger and number two. Uh, number one. Someone's put a 200. Could go for that. I just don't know. When this uh, is present, both players can maximum control five creatures instead of ten on the, on the field. That's, that is for control decks. So you can have big, big things instead of loads of small things getting dwarfing you. A Jadoon Grunt, number three. Number one. Hey, <laughs> 499. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a 3-2. It's just generic. Uh, uh, you never know. Uh, healing Bandage, common. But still Serial 6. We've not had really anything in double digits. The Time War is number one. Yeah. Time. Uh, expensive card to pick up in any frame at the minute. So to have the number one serial for that is Fan Dabidozi. And, and Dalek Frame especially. It's the time war. It's Dalek Ships. It's beautiful. We've got Bronze Dalek coming up as well. Silent Infiltrator. It's it, it's Solarian. We've got number two, which I think I bought actually um, from this pack of four. And then a number six that we pulled in the pack. Um, someone did $40 for four Serial 2s and one of them was an Epic. Uh, the Epic is not uh, Imperial Dalek, it was a Cyber King Ice Queen. You'll see that soon. Number 6 for a Dalek Gunstick. It's still a Dalek-esque thing, I'm assuming. You're not going to get $500 for a Serial for it. I, I'm, I'm afraid that's not going to happen. Not anytime soon. Not financial advice. I, some people are asking crazy money. Maybe they saw the serial one. And the serial one's already gone. That's that is also a possibility. We've got bronze Dalek, which looks lovely and glorious. Um, serial one at five hundred. A serial fourteen at four ninety. Not going to happen. A serial three. Eh, it, it won't be anywhere near serial one value, but it will still be good long term. Uh, Ice Lord number six. No one's listed any of them yet. Don't see the point. Uh, Sky Trench, number one. Boom, boom, number one. Boom, 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 boom. Add it to the count. Loyal. Solaster, nice warrior, number five. Yeah, boo hoo. Uh, can't win them all. Disarm is the number three. And then we've got Osgood at number one. Last but definitely not least. Enable a doctor and gather intel, she's part of unit, and classified as a human. Oh, is she Saigon? Human, Saigon, Saigon human? Hmm, who knows? On to, uh, we'll get rid of, we've got four legendaries here. We'll come across them all in a second. See, first doctor, the creator, tenth doctor, and the moment. Yes, we pulled the moment in uh, Imperial Dalek, didn't we? Which was also fantastic. That we've got the moment too. The question is, while while this loads up, come on website, yeah, I can do it. Kick it in, kick it in, kick it in. Don't mind punching when I'm kicking it. Punch it. Figuratively speaking, jump cut. 
Suntown Soldier, you can see, and the moment here. We also have a Suntown Soldier, and we also have a moment. So let's check Suntown Soldier. We get Serial 1 matching. Uh, let's just quickly see if they are actually ID matching, because that would be hilarious. Nope, but they're both Wonder Ones, which is awesome. And we both, uh, we know that the Imperial Dalek uh, from the moment is number one, but so is the moment. We have matching Serial 1s for two cards, which is insanely lucky but to also have two moments it's the time war it's just it's great to have both that is a valuable combination in terms of frames without a question uh, but we do have other legendaries as you can see as well the next one will be the first doctor but quite late in the pack actually for this number five um someone's asking number 10 at 13 13 serial 7 at 100 is not a bad price i would say actually that's probably quite a fairish price uh first doctor first time the cybermen appeared but it's not a mandasian cyber frame it's a cyber king so maybe maybe one day we'll get a, a mandasian cyberman actually uh, as a frame that'd be actually kind of cool looking a bit a bit more white maybe let's look at the creator now he is the doctor according to this who knows i'm going to use the same pun twice why not uh temp doctor is also here too uh we'll come to him in a second the website is just behaving a little bit slower than it should be right it's time for the creator finally loaded up it's serial number three i don't get it at number four that's just it's a bit annoying a serial eight at 444 i, I see what he's done there um legendaries long term yeah and in these frames that will be no longer available when the game comes out as core people will be probably paying over the odds on some of the especially the doctors Tem doctor for instance is my go-to card that i think is going to be expensive over time serial six at 100 even even if there is like um 100 available that's not an atrocious price on that doctor who mm -hmm -hmm. 899 for the serial two probably and serial 10 so was listed at 3000 which it's not atrocious for for sand shoes uh long term anyone wanting serial 10s i've got a weeping angel a million no never know weeping angel frame is the second rarest frame is next to the white point star at the moment the moment as you know already knew was serial number r uno to match its pair river song number three not not terrible could have been better could have been number one the dalek asylum at number two uh number 10 is on sale at the time of this recording there's probably a lot more actually when time this video gets put up this is fairly on cyberguard come on number one. Oh, it's a number two no number two in cyberguard cyber king ah mondasto planet is the number four uh, number six available on that cyber king frame it's going to be fine shut up phone 13th dock number four again getting a lot of fours in cyber king anything single digits if it's not number one if it matches the doctor it's going to be good psych pageant i've got matching serial ids synchronicity and the serial numbers so two to three and three seven seven five three seven three seven seven five three eight rarity that's a rarity that combination um that could get sold as a bundle because the odds of getting the asset ids to match the same card is oh did, 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 you, you can work it out and it's different frames of course as well so the odds on that can be crazy um the probability is very very high uh, <laughs> work out the math someone can work out the math i'm sure uh hibernating ice warrior number six was the later pack. I don't think we've got anything in double digits though, which is really, really good. Screwdriver could be whole decks based on the screwdriver serial number three on that one. The counter is, is it'll be showing pretty good. I am oh, the, the, the counts are getting edited in. Uh, serial one for me and me, serial two, someone's listening at 300. It is an epic. Ding, 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 ding. What else have we got? uh oh Eldane tribe leader hundred dollars uh some less than 300 to 490 so, does someone already sell those at 100 mm. a low serial maybe even a serial one at hundred dollars 100 bucks on a serial one epic would have been all right 
Uh, $15 on that bit? Oh, for serial 50 Again, it's not a bad, it's not a terrible price not on an Epic. I managed to grab a Tangle Present Epic for a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bargain. I'll explain which one that is in the future videos. So please stick around, coaching uh, for more Doctor Who Balls Apart videos. So hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, follow me on Twitter at It's My Yard. You know you want to. Polar Resonance is a rare. And it's number two, number five getting listed at 299. I think it's that yeah, preposterous. Um, Clara, you're number four. If only you were the 11th or 12th doctor, that would have been all right, in my honest opinion. Ding, ding, ding. ding. Dalek Invasion is number one, but it is in Cyber King and not the other way around. Hey ho, that seems to be the odds of what happened here. Minor Time Rift. Three and four serial acid IDs don't match, but still having two of the same serial. Shut up, you fool! Serial number three and four for minor time rift. So that's having the same numbers back to back is all right. The matter the card as well, especially on the early serials. Earth number two for sale nineteen. Ding 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 ding. Uh, Jadoon Captain is rare number one. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Uh, face the Raven, number two. One went for 70, maybe. Could that have been number one? Number two for Cancel the Detonation. Kind of wish that was five. <laughs> A carton, uh, Akatin, sorry. Uh, serial number two. Again, rare. Not bad. The Master, oh, number one. And with Cyber King, that works really well with the, the lone Cyberman. That, that's probably a, a nice sort of chase serial one to, to have as well. Ooh, pretty premium on that. Fugitive Doctor as well, serial seven. Quite high, actually, in terms of the cards we've seen, of course, as well. Especially, it's a rare. Uh, serial one at 295 there. 9, 10, and 11, all owned by the same person at the minute. 95, I think. A little bit too high. Mog statue, number two, number one at 295. Fair enough. I got that. That was one of the cards I bought um, that was in the $40 pack. So I got that for $10. Bargain, if you ask me. Solarian Arc, serial number one. Serial number one. Serial. Serial. I want some Rice Krispies. It's good. We're doing well. I mean, when it came to the last packs, the Time Lord Presents and. So that was the first chance I would have had at um, Serial 1s because I came into the game uh, when all the other packs were already had been opened to start with. Um, and there was issues with the, the server um, on packs not opening properly and some packs didn't get minted on the mobile and I was one of the people using mobile on that one so I didn't get any low serials whatsoever. It was much later. But people were compensated so hey-ho, in long term they're all going to get burnt anyway and be exclusive and not being bought again so don't worry about it cyber conversion is number four don't worry about this this is that's just the website uh eaten by the shadows it's a number one number one number one it's dalek prime number four but dalek prime is tom baker here isn't it so that's and to be honest it's the one and only Dalek image that looks even better in a cyber frame than an Imperial frame. I will take it. ka -ching. You're number one. Yeah. Another common. Not available list, but as we've said, at this point in time, it's way too early to see uh, what's going to be available. Number four for that. Number one is listed 15 at $300. Not a chance, my dear fella. Not a chance. Drain power, number three. It's, okay, it's not bad. Pterodactyl, there's that ice cream I was on about. Serial three. Okay, I bought that for ten dollars in a bundle of for forty. Serial one for a scout. Oh, Ooh. all the numbers in the world. Ice cream serial two. Ten dollars for an epic in a in a frame like this is just just a bargain, especially that lower serial. 
crazy, crazy you would flip it that quick. Zero two and a four for a T-Rex. Uh, that's, the, the, it's a six mana, six art on energy, six four. Lots of damage, big hitter. Th does what it says on the tin. Oh, Ice Lord. Hopefully we've clicked the button quick enough. I was skipping a page before we got to the warrior. Ice, 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 baby, ice, ice, ice. Number seven, boo. On the higher, higher cards. We've got four to go, but it's been it's been a pretty good special weapons dialog. I've listed actually, it's zero one. Um, I've put it at five hundred dollars. Like I said, just like the Cyber King, if it sells, that covers my investment more than anything else. If that was Imperial Dalek for special weapons Dalek, I probably wouldn't be selling it. It's the fact that it's the opposite. Shame. It's just a shame. But it's also an epic, so it would be quite high. It'd be a higher value anyway. Uh, loyal at number four. We had that in uh, thingy as well, didn't we? In the Dalek. Serial 2 for Ice Warrior Armor. And last, but very much least, it's a regeneration energy. And I need a regeneration after going through all of that. That's a lot of serial number ones, isn't it? Let's have a quick little overview, shall we? So we'll go and show off the ones, twos, and threes if you didn't pay attention to the top of the screen earlier on. Uh, three and plus, none of them were in double digits. 52 of them were number three. Most of those were probably actually just number three, actually. Number two, 23 serial twos and 19 serial ones. So that's 42 out of 90 ish cards. That's, uh, that's nearly half. That's a pretty good hoard, if I don't say so myself. But the question is, out of those nine packs, what was the sort of rarity composition? Because obviously five were Cyber King in each pack, five were Imperial Dalek in each pack, and the odds of rarities are common are 50%, rares are 30%, epics are 15%, and legendaries are 5%. What are the statistics? Nine packs is a small sample. It's not like it was 100 packs or more. Uh, but we can get a good idea on the law of averages. So, Cyber King, 20 commons at 45, so above, uh, below average, which is good because we want rares, epics, and legendaries. Uh, 45 cards at 5%, you expect on average getting two. We got four above the average, and Dark was on average. Epic, 15% with, uh, with 45 cards, well, well above average on that, but the same for Dalek as well. We got 17 epics in 90 cards um so that's if you work out quick math it should be on average about 12 13 so well above average on that 23 out of 90 or 30 percent uh so if you say it's a third so it's 30 with sorted just under on the rares but that's because of the epics and common 48 roughly 45 46 on commons on average so with slightly above the average on that one which to be honest getting high legendaries high epics and not to mention three legendaries that were serial one both moments from cyber king and dalek and the time war plus we got three doctors of the curator 10 uh, sand shoes and the first doctor i would say that's a very very good hole whatsoever I have put some of them on the marketplace. I will put others over time as well. Of course, if you're watching this video soon or even later and you see a card that you like, I might still have it. Let me know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe to the channel. Follow me for more Doctor Who Worlds Apart. Juicy, juicy goodness. Uh, in fact, we'll talk about the cheap deals that I found. Talk about what the game actually is, tutorials, etc, etc. And as the game comes out and we get more information, we'll do that too. Thank you very much for watching, hit the like button, I'll see you very soon, bye bye.